The Prophet Sallallahu was once sitting with his best friend Jibreel Alayhi Salaam إِذْ سَمِعَ النَّقِيضًا مِنْ فَوْقَ All of a sudden, the Prophet and Jibreel Alayhi Salaam, they hear a loud voice from above. فَرَفَعَ جِبْرِيلَ بَصَرَهُ إِلَى السَّمَاءِ Jibreel Alayhi Salaam looks up to the sky. So what's this noise? He's, he's concerned because it's typically Jibreel that comes from the heavens. He's the one that makes things happen. He looks up and he sees one of the doors of the heavens open. فَفُتِحَ لَهُ بَابٌ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ A door of the heavens was open. لَمْ يُفْتَحْ قَبْلٌ And never has this door from the heavens been opened for anyone else. فَنَزَلَ مَلَكْ مِنْهُ And from this door, an angel from the heaven descends. فَأَتَى النَّبِيَّ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ this angel comes and sits right next to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and with him is his friend Jibreel Alayhi Salaam. This is interesting. Jibreel, the best friend of the Prophet, is watching another angel visiting his friend with the permission of Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala. And then the angel says to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, أَبْشِرْ بِنُورَيْنِ قَدْ أُوْتِيتَهُمَا لَمْ يُؤْتَ نَبِيٌّ قَبْلَكَ O Prophet of Allah, Glad tidings to you. I've come to give you a gift. I've come to give your followers a gift. No one has ever received such a gift in the previous generations in nations. You and your followers have this special gift. Now, this gift could be given to the Prophet by Jibreel. It could be given to the Prophet in other forms of revelation. But Jibreel being there and another angel coming to make this gift a special moment for the Prophet what in the extension for all of us. Understand what this gift is. Understand who's giving the gift and understand who the gift is being received by. But obviously this gift is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the angel to the Prophet sallallahu And they are, the Prophet sallallahu said, Fatihatul Kitab wa khawatima surat al-Baqarah. Reading Surah Fatiha is one of the greatest surahs in the Quran. One of the greatest blessings is nur, is light. In times of darkness, in times of hardship, in times of anxiety, it brings ease, the recitation of Surah Fatiha. In the last two verses of Surah Baqarah, these two gifts have been given to you, these two lights, where if a person isn't doing well in life, when do you turn on the light? When you can't see. When do you need light? When you're afraid. When do you need light? When you're confused. When do you need light? When you need to make a decision about something, you need some guidance. These two surahs will give you those, these, this surah in the last part of Surah Baqarah will give you guidance, will give you protection. When you turn on the lights, you can see your enemies. You have this form of rebelling any form of um, evil. And that is the Quran. And particularly Surah Fatiha and the last two verses of Baqarah are protection. Ali radiallahu anhu says, Lam ara. I don't know anyone yaqil who has a, a basic intellect. This is I don't want to say, not my saying. Anyone that has basic intellect, balagahu al-Islam yanam hatta yqra hadi al-ayah. I don't. If anyone has basic intellect, they should not sleep until they recite the uh, ayat al-Kursi and the last parts of Surah Baqarah. So Fatiha, ayat al-Kursi is also very special, but special specifically the last two verses of Surah Baqarah. This is the gift that Jibreel al -Salam was sitting with the Prophet ﷺ while he received this gift. This is the relationship that Prophet ﷺ had with Jibreel al -Salam. There were gifts, spiritual growth, and forms of protection for him and his followers. And that's what friends are for. They're there to give you gifts. They're there to help you celebrate and protect and grow. And that was Jibreel al -Salam to the Prophet ﷺ.